good morning everyone so welcome to the family of kelly eu independent college chikodi today onwards we are starting the bridge course for you people so we are a little bit slow right now okay try to understand that we will be only trying to teach in english english but it will be very comparatively very slow so here in the 10th class whatever the syllabus might be you might be having different syllabus you will be talking about the different parts but the you have learned completely as science okay what is meant by science science we can say as way of living way of living to do work so this is called science means something we do work that is only possible by living organism so that is called as science okay science means you have three parts of science present three parts of science present one is called as physics second is called chemistry third is life sciences here physics means laws of nature physics means what we study the laws of nature is called physics chemistry means study of chemical components structure and nature life sciences study of living living organisms so the study of living organisms again categorized into study of living organisms again categorized into plant living science animal living plant the living sense and animal living sense so yaar from the plant plant means the term botany or botany animal means zoology so the plant term botany is derived from boti q which is a greek word meaning botic root mean greek word meaning animal feed zoology means the term is derived from zoological means moving living organisms moving living organisms moving living organisms 
So here now biology means biology means it has derived from the word bio means living logos means study. So here we can saw say that biology means study of living organisms. Study of living organisms. Coming to the father of biology. Father of biology. Father of biology is Aristotle. Aristotle. Father of zoology is also Aristotle. Father of biology is Aristotle. Father of zoology is also Aristotle. He belongs to 2nd BC before Christ. And father of botany. Father of botany. Father of medicine. Theophastus. Theophastus. So father of botany and father of zoology. Theophastus. Theophastus. So in the biology, I will be teaching you about zoology. Means the part of science. So coming on to the biology, our main subject is zoology and my name is G B R Reddick. G B R Reddick sir. Okay. Now coming on to the biology part, my sir. will be my sir will be teaching the body part now coming on to the body as it is an introductory program biology already we have discussed that it is botany and zoology so these are being called core life sciences these are called core apart from this <coughs> there is the interaction between the living organisms and non living organisms so other parts which are connected with biology are ecology, ecology, exobiology, biotechnology, biotechnology. Pathology, Paleontology, Pharmacognosy, Microbiology, Biochemistry, Biochemistry, Bioinformatics, 
bioinformatics embryology eugenics genetics gynecology You 
rural control and coordination chemical control and coordination chemical control and coordination of hormonal control hormonal control hormonal control the next one you might have learned in the other organisms we produce here you might have learned about them. a sexual mode of reproduction sexual mode of reproduction sexual mode of reproduction is the hereditary topic you might have learned about the genes transfer of genes sex determination what is evolution what is speciation what is speciation what are the different evidences of evolution so these are the topics you might have learned in the 10th class and you have completed successfully your examination pattern and mostly for state syllabus cbs syllabus and some of the icsc syllabus also we have the same type of syllabi or uh, the okay now what is nutrition nutrition means intake of nutrients intake of nutrients means what does this nutrients what are these nutrients made up of nutrients are made up of chemical components so what type of possible chemical components they be so in the living system which are made up of life they are having the carbon carbon carbohydrates protein proteins fats vitamins and minerals so we can call the nutrients as carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals are they present in the singular form obviously they are present in the complex form the complex means very much complicated or in which are not simple so complex means not very simple so the complex one will be converted into simpler components 
So this for con conversion of this complex substances we need a system called as digestive system. Digestive system. So the digestive system is a connector for nutrients or conversion. The conversion of the nutrients is done by a specific system with chemical components into simpler usable components by our body. So that we will talk about the digestive system here and respiration. How the digestive system is concerned to the respiratory system we also will talk. Apart from that how this is integrated to the body will be done to the circulatory system and other systems. So the remaining systems we will see tomorrow. Thank you.